you gorgeous individuals it's Kav here and today I'm going to be doing the books and reading tag I was tagged to do this by Gabby from Gabriella pop so I will leave her video in the description below and I highly recommend you check her channel out because she is a great booktuber so definitely go give her some love and this is just a fun tag about books and reading so let's get started with it question one where do you buy your books? Online or in-store, independent or chain? So my answer for this is all of the above. I essentially buy books wherever I can. In the videos where you've seen my bookshelf, you can tell that there's a lot of books on them. And books are primarily the main thing I collect. They're the main thing I choose to spend my money on and that's a personal choice I make. So I get them wherever I can. Primarily, I'd say I probably get them online because that's the easiest, but if I am at a bookstore, if I have the opportunity to go to one, I definitely utilize it and I try to buy books in store. I probably get at least like two to three books from an indie bookstore a month because I'm trying to use indie bookstores more. So it's a combination of all three. Question two. Do you buy your books or do you check them out from your library? So as you all probably have noticed by now, I essentially have a library in my house. I think there is nothing wrong with checking out books from the library. I did it for a long time, but now that I can, I prefer to buy my books and I prefer to collect them and make them look pretty on my bookshelf. It's again, a personal choice and it's a choice I have the privilege to make. So yeah, I mostly buy my books. Question three, do you like reading series or series? standalones. So the thing about this is that I like both but I like them for different things. I think that for contemporary standalones are great and if you are going to kind of do a series with contemporary I think you should just have a sort of sequel or a spin-off. It shouldn't be like a six book series or something. Whereas for fantasy and sci-fi I think series are the way to go because then you get to develop the world and you really get to create an immersive world that your reader gets immersed in. So I think that they are both good for different things. Question four. Where do you like to read your books? Do you have a specific place or can you read anywhere? So I read wherever and whenever I can. Most often I read in my bed because I tend to read at night before bed since that's when I have the most time and I'm done with all my work for the day so I can just concentrate on reading. But you know, I take the book that I'm reading with me to school. I carry it to places when I think I might have some free time. So I can read everywhere and I do tend to read everywhere. Question five, do you listen to music while you read? So I used to listen to music a lot more than I do now. I really don't listen to it as much now, but that doesn't mean I can't listen to it now. But generally, if I do choose to listen to music now, I choose to listen to like movie soundtracks or something instrumental. So yes and no, it really just depends on what I'm in the mood for. If I'm in the mood for music while I'm reading, I will. But if I'm not in the mood for it, then no. Question six, what is the genre you reach for the most? So as those of you who have watched my channel for a while will know, contemporary is my favorite. And I do enjoy fantasy. I enjoy reading fantasy, but contemporary is where my heart lies. I love fluffy contemporary books. Those are my favorite things to read. Question seven. What genres do you tend to stay away from? I'm not a huge sci-fi person. I do read a little bit of sci-fi. I'm trying to kind of diversify the genres I read. So for example, I'm trying to read more sci-fi, more historical fiction, a little bit more non-fiction, just to sprinkle something new in there every now and then. But what I really tend to stay away from is probably erotica and religious novels. Those are just books that I personally don't like. And when I say religious novels, I don't mean like a book with a Jewish main character. Those are books that I tend to not prefer and it's just a personal choice. There's nothing wrong with reading them, but I personally don't like reading them. Question eight, what genre would you like to read more of? So this kind of goes back to the last question where I mentioned how I'm trying to kind of diversify my genres a little bit more. My bookshelf has a ton of contemporary and quite a good portion of fantasy, but then I kind of look at what's missing from it. Like I mentioned, sci-fi, historical fiction, non-fiction. So I don't want to make those like the primary things I'm reading, but I would like to incorporate more of those. And similarly, I would also like to incorporate a little bit more of middle grade and new adult just to get a good combination of everything because contemporary YA is probably always going to be my favorite but I would like a good selection of everything that we have to offer in the book community because it's giant and it's great so I just want to read it all. Question 9. 
Do you read a book before you see the movie? Most of the time, yes. But there are occasions when it doesn't happen. Like for example, I never read Lord of the Rings, but I've seen all three movies. But in general, I do read the books before I see the movies, unless it's a movie I didn't know was a booked movie adaptation or it's something like Lord of the Rings. Question 10. What is your favorite book to movie adaptation? So this is a little bit of a complicated question. My go-to answer is the City of Bones movie. And I know most of you are thinking, what that movie sucked. Listen, it wasn't as bad as people make it out to be. I'm a very character-based person. It's part of the reason my contemporary YA is my favorite. It's part of the reason the Mortal Instruments appealed to me because I love the characters in it. And I think that in the movie, whereas the plot did not do very well, I think that the actors they had casted as the characters really got the emotions and the behaviors of the characters and that was what I was looking for. So I felt that in that sense it was really good and I owe that movie a lot. It was essentially how I got into the books because I wouldn't have read the books had I not seen the trailer for the movie. That movie is a staple for me. It's something I still watch from time to time. I've probably rewatched it a lot of times by now. And obviously it's not objectively the best, but subjectively for me it is one of the best. And the other answer I have for this is definitely the Hunger Games trilogy because I think that those movies did a wonderful job representing that world. I just remember how much I enjoyed watching the movies and I definitely think that those are objectively the best book to movie adaptation I've ever seen. Okay, so those were all the questions for this tag. I thought it was a really fun tag. It was different than anything I've done before. I really enjoyed it. So thank you Gabby for tagging me and as I said I will leave her video in the description below so definitely go check that out. And before I go I'm going to have to tag some people. I'm going to tag Felipe from Felipe Heath, Maddie from Maddie Lee Reads. So go ahead and do this tag if you would like to and if you are watching this and would like to do this tag I tag you too. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe because that stuff makes me happy. And as usual, all of my social media and my goodies will be in the description below if you'd like to follow me anywhere else. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day now wherever you are. Please remember, you're beautiful and you deserve the world and I will see you soon for a brand new video. Goodbye!